Hi everyone, it's Beijing Nails. Today I'm going to show you guys how I did this off-white base that had this blue kind of grungy look effect on it. And to be honest with you, I actually did that over an existing Manny. Um, so what type of base did I use? I had a like a green hollow base. So I had a dark base to go over. And what I'm just going to do is to go over a last video previous swatch stick here and this is what my paper had looked like for my Manny. We're gonna start fresh and what I started out with was first some white acrylic paint. Now this paint a little goes a long way so, and especially since I'm only doing one nail here, I really don't need that much. Now, here was the key thing. I started with white. I added this English ivory green apple barrel acrylic paint to it. I just put just a little dabble next to my white. And I'll get my blue, which is English navy, also by Apple Barrel. Now, this one, if you hear it, it's really watery. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that way. None of my other ones are. So, I don't know. I may just end up picking up another one. And I am using a very coarse brush. It's a very thick brush. You see here if I have... Here's an example of my cleanup brush compared to the brush that I'm painting with. Huge difference. Is that better? I hope that's better. Now, what I did was, is I first went into the white, dabbled a little bit into the green, just, just a little on my brush there, and I'm going to put a little bit more into that white there, and I'm going to make my own little pile here. Get my own little grunge color, add a little bit more white to it. You see I created another color, kind of like a two-tone color. And for this, what I did was, is I painted it, and as you can see, you'll see that this really gives a good coat. I'm going to go back in, grab some more white, a little green, a bit more white. Right now, I'm kind of, I'm, my main focus is I'm just looking to cover it. And it did. I'm gonna wipe my brush off here just a little bit. I'm gonna go on with just a little, just plain, just white, just white's on there, and I'm gonna dab it on my paper here. And now I kind of got a another color. Give this about a second, and a little bit more to the white. Dab it again. Give it about a second to dry, and I'm gonna brush over that. Now, because I did a mani with it, by the time I was done with my last finger, my first finger was already dry. If I keep on trying to paint over this while it's wet, I'm just going to remove what I just put on there, smear it, and I'm not going to get the kind of coverage that I want. Instead of babbling like I normally do for the next two, three minutes while this dries, I'm going to go ahead, pause it, let the dogs in because they're barking over there, and I'll be back to apply a second coat. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully they won't be too loud. They're running around out there. I'm going to go back in. I want to lighten this up a little bit more. So I'm going to go back in, add a little bit of white, smudging of that green, mix it around, and I'm going to paint again over it. What's really neat about this brush is it's really leaving grooves into the nail, which I really like. Look at that. I have great coverage there. Let that dry. I'm going to clean my brush and we'll be back and we'll apply the blue. Okay, so we're back. I want to let you guys know that when I started with my brush, it was a dry brush when I went into my paints. I went ahead, cleaned it off, and I wiped it off as good as I could on a paper towel. Kind of want to go back in with a dry brush again. Now I have to turn the nail this way. 
or God only knows what I'll end up creating. But instead of going this way up and down, like I apply the main color, I'm going to go in a different direction with the blue. Now this blue is really, really strong. So what I'm going to do here on my paper is dab a lot of that off. And I painted this uh, vertical and now I'm going to go horizontal. And this is one of those great things again, it's random. It's actually really random because my main base this time is looking more green than an off-white. And it is literally that easy. You can stamp over it, you can let it be, you can mat it, I had matted mine. You can add a shiny top coat to it. Just make sure that when you're using any acrylic paints, you have a base down first. And when you go to seal, make sure you get your free edge good. And also down here at your cuticle and any of your sidewalls, you don't want any water coming up and taking everything all off. Alrighty, that's it you guys. Take care, hang 10, bye bye.